Hey, what's up, guys? This is TMD with the build video two of the 120M machining Krieg uh, Frederick. I think we got down to the canopy stage yesterday and uh, we're on live again. Uh, big shout going out to Bill, Dave, Stephen, Johnny. Uh, who else is watching me live? There's three people now. Uh, Tim. Happy Thanksgiving to my viewers. I think I've said that. Very hard when I work full time. Yeah, mate. It's it's not easy working. Right, let's crack into this, guys. We are on. I think this part of the kit, the bottom section here, B6. I think I might have already cut that out, maybe. So what's everybody's plans for for christmas and japan is a very strange place for christmas because um it's like vegas man <laughs> it's like las vegas it's kind of like fake i'm not saying vegas is fake but you know what i mean it's like kind of like wonderland shit you know <clears throat> but at christmas i just like to in japan spend time with the kids the wife cook christmas dinner maybe my in-laws will be coming in my family japanese side talk to my mum <clears throat> and get absolutely shit faced I remember one Christmas, I think I did 24 cans of Asahi. <laughs> nearly, I don't think I did them all, but I nearly. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty mad. Pretty mad times. With that um, B6 part, I'm going to put that in there. I think the other part actually, just as a dry fit again. Put that in the back and then the back, yeah. Just put these here so I know I don't lose them, right? A11, A11. So, for you guys that are watching me live, um, Christmas is going to be a good time for everybody that I know to get into their model kits, it's going to be a great time. <clears throat> I can't wait for the day that my kids get into this because um, we can all have fun building together. My daughter's a little bit too young at the moment to, to cut things. She can use scissors quite well, but <clears throat> apart from that. Winter blues, bro, yeah. Well, you see, this is this is something I'll talk about. It is kind of weird. So, as you know, in, in your countries, we've got Australia, we've got America. And I can talk about the UK. When it's Christmas time, especially if you're by yourself, it is insanely depressing. <laughs> you know... It's insanely depressing, and that's what I'm saying. Like, if you if you guys have got friends that are, are single or lonely, fuck man, invite them round to your house for some food or whatever. Going in here, guys. Yeah, adjust this a little bit because it is a lonely fucking time. You know what I mean? It's I think people should be kind enough to invite people around to their houses they'll all build your kids for you yeah i wish i wish man <clears throat> but in japan because it's christmas day it's a normal day <clears throat> so at least you can go out here you know, you can go shopping or go window shopping or go somewhere, do something. There's probably Christmas events going on. So it 
it's pretty cool in Japan. It sounds weird that everybody's at work and stuff like that, but you, at least you can, um, you know, you can go out. Now, this is where this gets a little bit weird because when it comes to Japanese New Year, like in the US or Australia or in the West, like it's Christmas Day, Boxing Day. Most places are open, like shops and stuff like that. Boxing Day is open. And depending how it falls, people are either back at work a day or two after Boxing Day, which is the 26th. Um, in Japan, <clears throat> it, we celebrate New Year more here than Christmas, obviously. And out here, it's a week of shit being closed. Like, oh, big supermarkets are open. Some small restaurants are closed. Because what happens is everybody in Japan goes traveling just to visit relatives. But because of this corona nonsense, um, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work this year we've got pc9 which is one of these little bolts <clears throat> so for me when i was living alone when i was single um japanese new year was insanely depressing but out here new year celebrations are actually on for like two or three days where people go to shrines so it's not like there's nobody around. There's stuff. There is stuff that you can visit and do, and it's pretty interesting. This PC part just goes in here like that. It should fit in nice and snug. So yeah, man, it's not too bad in Japan. It's not too bad. But yeah, feeling lonely, man, during these festivities is not. It's not good. But some people enjoy it, each to their own. It is what it is. But yeah, Japan has some really weird things like, for example, in Japanese culture, um, in their beliefs is that Round of, before the end of the new year, everybody cleans their house. So when you go to the supermarkets at the end of November, uh, end of December, <coughs> you'll see loads of supermarkets promoting cleaning products, bath spray, window, window spray, furniture, wax cleaners, everything, because they believe that because of the new year is approaching that you should release the demons from your house or your property so then, then the new year comes in your house is clean and fresh so you've removed evil spirits from your house in that year so me and you carry will be fucking getting our hands dirty for a couple of days cleaning the house and she's into doing that <laughs> well we both are but that's one tradition. And sometimes I get gifts from like my, my suppliers. They give me cleaning cloths. Like, hey, happy birthday. Oh, thanks. What is it? Uh, it's, it's a cleaning cloth. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? KFC, Dev. I don't know, man. But to be honest, man, it's just a regular KFC. Um, I'm going to be getting a, a, a roast chicken. As you saw, Simon sent me some stuff from the UK yesterday. So I'll be doing, I'll be on the cooking duties to Christmas Day, mate. Chicken, stuffing, veg, bit of Christmas cake, all that stuff. But yeah, Japan is a little bit weird. And even in Japan, there are certain foods that we eat during the new year's um what's it called yam uh soba noodles is a traditional one there's one called oh what's the party pack called oh fuck i forgot oh that's gonna kill me i need to find that out 
Oh, oh. Osechi. Is it Osechi? Yeah. Now, Osechi is pretty interesting. Actually, I should do a video on that. Osechi. Basically, Osechi is, um, for you guys that are watching on my live show, it's like, um, it's a special New Year platter of different kinds of foods and each food represents a different thing um it's too long for me to explain but oh, i mean i could talk about it right now wait a minute it is pretty interesting um so i can tell you what's included in, in this osechi pack Simmered shrimp, tazukuri, nishime cooked vegetables, kamaboko, uh, date maki, appetizer, kunbu maki, kurikinton, tobiko, uh, fish, kazunoko, pickle, pickled vegetables, uh, 13 sweets, appetizer, black beans, grilled lobster. Um, so to get it to educate you guys about this, so basically, dai 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 Japanese bit orange means from generation to generation when written in different kanji, it symbolizes a wish for children in the new year. That is kind of weird because I, now that I th this is first time i've actually looked at this because in japan a lot of families and including myself we buy oranges at christmas because now it's orange mikan season japan so it just basically means good luck for the the children of, for the next year uh da, date maki is sweet rolled omelette mixed with uh fish paste or mashed shrimp they symbolize a wish for many auspicious days or auspicious day. I don't know what that is. Japanese traditionally wear fine clothing as a part of enjoying themselves. One of the meanings associated with the second kanji includes fashionability, derived from the illustrious dress of the samurai or datehan. Oh, wow, okay. This is pretty mad. I've never... Never really looked into this, guys. Don't worry about this, guys, for the guys that are watching my video. They're a bit rough, but you're not going to see us fucking inside the the suit. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man, it's, um, it's pretty interesting, that. Next one, uh, Kama Boko, which is broiled fish cake. Traditionally, slices of red and white kamaboko are al alternated in rows or arranged in a pattern. The colour and shape or fo are you ready? Are reminiscent of Japan's rising sun and a s and and have a celebrity festive meeting. Fucking hell! I never knew that. Ooh, controversial. Um, yeah, just to get on one tip. Uh... <laughs> Many of my um, Korean viewers who got angry with me because of my logo. I have changed the logo, guys, people in Korea. I have changed it, so, you know, don't get your knickers into a twist. I never knew that. That's pretty mad. Now, these PC... That's a bit tough to get in. It's in now. Cool. Uh, B11. B11. L. B11. I think this is a connection that makes it move to the bottom. We need PC part 11. Uh, Kazunoko. It's herring or herring row. I think that's the eggs. 
Kazu means number and Ko means child. It symbolizes a wish to be gifted with numerous children in New Year. Mm. Um, Kombu. Ah, yeah, Kombu uh, is... Is a king of seaweed who is associated with the word Yoro Kobu, meaning joy. Kuro Mame, black soya beans. Mame, as in Edo Mame. And mame means health. Wow, symbolizing a wish for healthy, for healthy New Year. I never knew that. So, actually, long story short, my brother in law. He worked at a, a very, very, uh, he's not, he works there part-time now. Because all this COVID stuff, they've reduced people's hours. But my brother-in-law worked at this very nice hotel restaurant. And one year, we were lucky enough to get a premium Osechi pack. And they're not fucking cheap, by the way. To get a good one, you're looking at about 30,000 yen upwards. Maybe. Um, they're, they're, not, they're not cheap. You can get cheaper packs, but obviously the quality is not as good. But um, going into the seating area, guys. Uh, Kohaku... Namasu, literally red white vegetable, kuai, is made of daikon and carrot cut into thin strips and pickled in sweetened vinegar with yuzu flavor. Oh, that sounds good, Dave. I love yuzu. Yuzu is basically like a, a citrus fruit in Japan. They do yuzu sauce. It's kind of weird to explain what yuzu is. But I really like it. There's a special area in Japan that have the yuzu fruits. I forgot where it was. One of my old workplaces, the guy was telling me about it. He was quite surprised. Oh, Darren, you like yuzu? I'm like, yeah, I fucking love yuzu. It's amazing. Uh, tai, red sea bream. Tai is associated with the Japanese word meta. Mede Tai symbolizing an auspicious event. I'm just gonna do the seat, guys. B9, B9. Are you guys listening? Are you interested by this? Uh, Tazu Kuri, dried sardines cooked in soy sauce. The literal meaning of the kanji is Tazu Kuri, is rice paddy maker, as the fish were used historically to fertilize rice fields. Never. The symbolism, the symbolism is of an abundant harvest. Zoni, oh yeah, I know zoni. A soup of mochi rice cakes in clear broth. Oh, or miso broth. Oh yeah, I know that. <laughs> yeah, bro. Dave, you're missing out, man. Get your ass to Japan. Was that? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that isn't the seat. Whoa, what's going on here? I've messed up, guys. That could be the um, alteration option B. There you go. Sorry, guys. I made a mistake. That part is spit. Uh, because, yeah, I think this kit is part of another kit. Like the Gustav, I think. Should be able to get some fruit next year. Yeah, man. Oh, Dave, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so Dave in the comments is growing a, a yuzu tree. Dave, how good is it, man? You can vouch. You can type in the comments on how good that fruit is. Uh, Ebby. Ebby skewered prawns cooked with sake and soy sauce. Um, Give this a bit of a sand down, guys. Um, 
It symbolizes a wish for a long life, suggesting long beard and bent waist. Yeah, so like Ebisu, the god, the deity. And Yebisu is the beer. Nishi, nishiki tamago, or egg. Egg, Roland, the egg is separated before cooking. Yellow symbolizing gold and white symbolizing silver. Both of these together symbolizing wealth and good fortune. Yeah, because the Ebisu god and the Ebisu, Ebisu beer is a gold can and Ebisu is obviously the god that is for getting loads of money. Which, if you maybe saw one of my older YouTube videos at my local shrine, we actually have an Ebisu little praying section there. That'll do. Looks like this seat fits in there like that, guys. I just it actually just pops in so you don't have to really glue that in to be honest some parts of these mat kits i try and avoid glue to be honest if you don't need to glue something that it just pops in and it should be should be fine yeah it's nice the juice is super expensive to buy it yeah i'm so yeah it is easy bro so on this part here, there is a little bit of a, a mold line, so you might want to sand that back a little bit. Light, light rubs, guys. Um, and that's about it, man. It's interesting. And Japanese New Year home parties are great. I really enjoy them because we have like Japanese comedy shows, game shows on New Year, Downtown Gaki no Sukai. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting. Let me check my work because I might have to come in and out of this feed and if I do that, Awesome. Looks like one of my bosses has mailed me about something, so Cool. I might have to jump off in a minute, guys. I don't know. I've just got an email. I might have to jump off here. Uh, I want to actually, I don't know how far I'm going to get with this. I might just build this kit and get all the parts sanded down and ready. And then jump off. So yeah, um, KFC, Dave. I don't know. I don't know if they have um, any special. I don't know if they do turkey, man. I can't. I don't know. I can't remember. But it'll be fun going to work, man. <laughs> it's only the second time in Japan I think I've gone to work on Christmas Day. I did it many years ago and it was really weird because I actually went to McDonald's because there was like a McDonald's near the station and I used to always um, grab a coffee 
before I went to work because when I was working in uh, Ibaraki Ken a place called Rugasaki it was kind of quite fun oh yeah I th uh, Dave I don't know how about in Australia bro do they have it in Australia or America do you have like Christ like Christmas dinner sets you surely you must have I don't know if it comes with gravy or anything like that, bro. Do you know what I missed out, bro? Oh, they had the new KFC um, Yuzu Burger, bro. KFC had it, yeah. With like, like, like black pepper and that red Japanese red pepper, mate. With that Yuzu vibe. Wow, man. <sighs> Looks good, that guys. And this seat unit just basically fits behind here. It should I don't know if this is actually gonna pop in any further. No, I think that's as far as you'll get it. The thing is with these seat units, guys, if you're watching me live on uh, Ice Japan only, okay, bro, is you can always do some little miniature upgrades, some wiring behind here, maybe, some pipes coming in the back. You can mod these. Not saying that you're depending on... This kit's a bit different because it's got a glass canopy, so you will see what's inside. It's not like a regular SAFs or anything like that, or cars or a miscellane. But it might be nice to maybe upgrade that seat. I don't know. Gives gives the viewer something to look at. Right, seat done, guys. Uh, I think we're moving on to the pilot. I'm going to skip doing the pilot, guys, for later. I'm looking to cut these sections here. Oh, we've got another one millimeter thing here as well. That's important. So as you can see, I've got all my parts laid out, guys. So I know what's going on. Yeah, it's a Japan only thing. It's kind of crazy. I think I mean how the world is going at the moment, man. You'd think that maybe places places would open up a little bit more. You know, because I think people would actually like um I think people would enjoy KFC at Christmas, right? I think people would would like it. What do you guys think in the comments? <clears throat> so we're just cutting these nubs back. I can't believe it's for Dave. If honestly, Brian. If you hadn't have mentioned that in the chat, I wouldn't have known it was Friday today. This nub's a bit of a problem here. I don't like that nub there. It's near that gate. Uh, again, you can uh, use this knife and just, just be careful you don't take too much off. Oh, I'm not going to cut that. Be careful. These parts can be sanded back bit of a nasty nub there <clears throat> so what's Santa Claus bringing everybody I don't know I think I know what you carry oh shit I forgot about that and do you know what's even more of a bonus for me right is I actually get paid on Christmas Day, so the kids can uh, will be mind blown because I don't know if I've got time to go to. I don't know. I might take it off. I don't know because my wife is working in the morning. She gets back in the afternoon. I don't know what's going to happen, man. A 
bit of a nasty nub is that man I'm just scraping it guys so it's flush 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 We've got three people watching. Type in the type in the comments, guys. If you've got any questions to ask me? So for people on this live video, this section is a little bit annoying. She's got these two little sections here that are like blocking my sanding area, but just go in a little bit careful. Just take your time. Seems to be some like nipple areas on here as well. Um, I don't know if I should sand that back as a mold line. Yeah, actually on this part here, you can see where, I don't even know if that's supposed to be intentional or not. <clears throat> Uh, on the model kit, there's not very, there's not very good reference on that side part. Um, yeah, I'm going to sand that back. So, guys, if you're watching me, there's a little bit of inconsistency there. I think I'm going to, I think I am going to sand that back, just around this area doesn't look right but by all means you can leave it alone if you want but I want it all smooth be careful not to I mean as well sometimes on these mat kits as well I have some BMC chisels I might want to make that um, panel section better with uh, some chisel yeah it seems to smoothed out a bit it's all on this side as well Seems to look all right so far. <clears throat> yeah, looks looks good. So there's nothing. Uh... Oh, I could do some. Uh... As we're chatting and building, I got some, something to talk about is the Tokyo Reporter. I haven't checked on here to see what the latest crimes are, so might be some a good talking point as I'm doing the builds. Let's see what horrendous crimes are happening. Right, so. Pair not prosecuted over alleged dumping of corpse of elderly acquaintance in uh, Hamamatsu. Oh dear. There's a lot going on with this one, it says on Tokyo Reporter. Two dead, one may be due to suicide. Bodies of both persons found on separate mountains. Fucking hell. Yeah, the only charges for the two defendants are theft from a bank account. Kill some brain cells while reading along. Oh, God, that sounds pretty bad. Oh, this one's really mad. Because I used to work here in this city in, uh, in April. 
Chinese pair arrested after infant's corpse found in refrigerator in Kawaguchi. So I used to work in Kawaguchi. It's not that far away from here, really. And there's sand in this back, guys. That, those lines are really strange on here. You can, uh... So I'm going in with the 800 grit. And now I'm going to go in with the... Sorry, that was 600. I'm going in with the 800. Slightly sand, nothing major. Um, woman 55 and boy suspected of deriving roommate, depriving roommate of food during fatal assaults. Holy crap, man. Yakuza nabbed over fatal hit and run in Yokohama. Oh, this is a pretty good one. It's about a Lamborghini that burst into flames on a, on a motorway in Kyoto. It's pretty fucking horrific. You're watching me. <laughs> Osaka trio in custody for abandoning acquaintances' corpse for rearrested for murder. Fucking hell. Uh, let's move on to I think K one is the um K one is the clear part, so I'm not gonna touch that yet. I'm gonna be using L one, I think that just fits in front of the cockpit of the driver, pilot, sorry. Um, Osaka, trio accused in fatal stabbing of elderly man. Yeah, that one's, I read a little bit on that. That's pretty horrific, man. I don't get why people need to fucking do shit like this. Killing old people, man. It's wrong. Really bad. Uh, man 43 suspected of repeated sexual abuse of a disabled boy. Like, fuck, man. What is wrong with these people? Fucking sick. If any of you guys want me to um, read out the full crime report of these crimes that I mentioned, please uh, let me know. For Coca, 12 cops, one suspect, under half a gram of liquid marijuana. Male corpse found floating off Manazuru. Must be a fucking island or somewhere. Uh, L10. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention this. Sorry, guys. Going back to this L6 part, there is some drilling to do, which is just in the middle of the cockpit. Forgot about that. Good job I remembered. I was saying yesterday that sometimes I do forget about these. Again, it depends on how you want to do this, but you can... I seriously, I mean, I was talking about this the other day. I mean, to buy drill bits, you can get them off fucking eBay or Amazon for cheap price. Um, I, I did say, oh, you can use something sharp and pointy. Yeah, you can, but it's better to use a drill bit. I don't really advise doing that, but so it's a nice little hole there. Let's see, done. Right, uh, L10. Uh, construction worker nabbed over fatal stabbing on Miyazaki Street. I don't know where Miyazaki is. Tokyo man, 20. Accused of murdering woman in Kyoto. Wow. 
Man packed bag with rocks before fatal assault of homeless woman. <laughs> uh, by the way, L10. L10 has that weird mold line that needs sanding down there, guys, on the sides. I'm just trying to see if I can actually scrape that off. definitely some mold line yeah I can you can scrape that off a little bit but it'll definitely need sandiness actually now that I've seen this I know what that is and I've seen it on other builds um, that's my wife she said thank you for the meal last night I hope it's not raining. So it's been, the weather has dropped a little bit in Japan recently, so <clears throat> it's a little bit cooler. Yamagata, a corpse cut into pieces found along railway. <laughs> I bet you guys are like, what? That really happens in Japan? I'm like, yeah, that just happened like recently, like last week. There's a lot of really weird, fucked up shit that happens here, guys. Um, Hokkaido, corpse found in burnt out vehicle in Iwamizawa. Wonderful. And that line actually is, is on this bottom section, so that's going to need sanding out, guys. La la la. Yeah. There's lots of crimes going on, guys. Saitama, which is near me. A man hit and killed by Tobu Isaki line. Isasaki. Is, Isesaki line. In apparent suicide. Wonderful. Um, Hyogo, boy 11, plunges to death from Kobe building and apparent suicide. More suicides. They reckon at the moment, guys, that um, there's been quite a big spike in suicides in Japan during the uh, COVID situation. And actually, I think two, I don't know if it's two or three celebrities i know one woman that definitely um committed suicide quite sad really um uh, toyama skeleton remains of a man found in shore river going in with the 600 guys for smoothing all these scrap these sanding lines out Tokyo, four suspected of abducting man, confining him in residence. Fucking hell, four of those people. One's a woman. God damn, man. Eh? Woo. <laughs> Ex-fighter suspected of serving as bodyguard for a legal Roppongi casino. Yeah, so as you know, in Japan, like, gambling's illegal. We don't have any legal gambling casinos here. Most of the casinos here are underground. And actually, during this, since, I think it was since March or April, I've seen many cases of the cops in Japan busting these illegal casinos, which are all probably ran by you-know-who, the Yakuza, so... Here he is, Hengsto! What's up, Enki? Enki Penki, Enki Penki man! Vietnamese woman suspected of uh, abandoning bodies of twin newborns. I think I was talking about that the other day, guys. 
so that's a really depressing one that I don't know why uh, people oh so yeah good stuff that's the uh, I think you can actually swap these parts out as well which I might do actually looking for R1 how are you doing Hank Hank's in the building from Holland um man not prosecuted over alleged fatal beating of girlfriend with nunchucks <laughs> what the going into here guys uh r4 sounds like r2d2 r2d2 prosecutors have announced the non-prosecution of a 39 year old man allegedly beating his girlfriend to death with nunchucks in Setagaya Ward two years ago. At around 4 pm on November 6, 2018, Yuta Yamato, of, known, of no known occupation, was alleged to have fatally beaten Hitomi Kamada, then 37, with nunchucks, a martial arts weapon at his residence. Scary. Um, these parts here need. Cutting off, it's a bit of a really weird place to have those notes. But... The result of the autopsy revealed that a Kamada likely died due to suffocation caused by blood flowing from a wound in her head. Holy shit, poor woman. Let's scrape that back. Nubs, man, they're horrible. Sandpaper, 200, yeah, yeah. Upon his arrest of suspicion of murder this past August, uh, Yamamoto denied the allegations and said, I didn't commit murder, the suspect quoted by the uh, Seijo police station. On Wednesday, prosecutors announced that the charge against Yamamoto-san had been changed to manslaughter and that he would not be prosecuted. Are you telling me that she was just like fucking doing some Bruce Lee shit and she's like, one of the bars hit her head? <laughs> Fuck, man. That's pretty mad. Maybe that's what happened. Blood, um, no reason for the decision was given. However, a source said that the Tokyo District Court used the Medical Treatment and Supervision Act to request hospitalization for Yamamoto due to uh, dementia. Wow. That's pretty mad, isn't it? Right, this section here. My stomach is rumbling. When my stomach rumbles, it means I need food. I think. Oh, I think we've actually missed a few parts here, gentlemen. See? Talking, not concentrating. I think we need to go back to. I think it's A3L9, 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 A, B, R, where's my A, sprue, A, there you go, A3, after the incident Yamamoto left the residence upon his return, Several hours later, he alerted the police. Kamada drank alcohol and collapsed, he reportedly said. Um, officers arriving at the residence found a collapsed face on a carpet. Fucking hell. With blood coming from her forehead, she was confirmed dead at the scene. Two days before the incident, Kamada began staying at the residence. An examination of the uh, interior by the police after the incident resulted in the discovery of the nunchucks. Hmm. Commander's forehead had a two centimetre long wound that matched the shape of the nunchucks. No fingerprints other than those on the suspect were found on the weapon. Uh, yeah, because they, they, they obviously need to um, find the evidence to do him for murder. But manslaughter, I don't know. Up next, cooking with TMD. Yeah, boy. Hey, did you watch my cooking video, man? 
I'll be doing some more cooking videos today, hopefully. Woo! I think that actually just fits in there. Pretty cool, man. L9. I think after I've done this section, I think I'd better get back to my job. Where's my L? L, L uh, I hate it's looking for sprues. My memory's so bad. Um, I think, oh, I think I've already cut that bit out. No? L9. Uh, where, where the fuck's that? Holy shit, man. I'm, I'm missing parts, man. No, unless that was it over there. Ah, uh, it was that section. Sorry. My bad. I've already done it. I've already done it. Let me clean it up. Uh, what's up, NK? We've got the comments. We've got uh, Ashigaga Prod Design, Yak Zemash. Pachinko is dead, no more playing, getting packages of tissue and taking them to some door down the street to exchange them for money at the local um, yak bar, yak, yak club. Up next, cooking with TMD, yep, yep. Yep, did watch a few, cheers bro. Going all ethnic this week, I don't know, I might be doing my ribs tonight man. Chinese ribs tonight man. Jackie Chan bullshit. By the way... It's about a year now since the Hong Kong Hong Kong riots. What's what's happened? There's been no news coming out of Hong Kong. It's kind of dead. Be interesting to see what's um, been reported. Man, twenty-seven accused of raping woman in Ikebukuro Hotel. Uh, Depths, deception and drinking, manslaughter case for a monster in human skin underwear. Holy shit, man. Kanagawa police seek help identifying body found on uh, Fujisawa Beach. Tokyo man douses self with a uh, creosine in front of boss before I'll start fucking tea. Bro, look at this one. Right, let me read this one. This is mad. Just going back to my instructions so we're not. Yeah, I've got these parts as well. R8, R9 to install. I'm not going to do those yet. I'm going to leave those till later. So I'm going to do my own wiring. So, hmm, interesting. I'm going to have to swap that out. Bow chicka chicka bow, bow bow chicka bow bow. Off. Five, oh three, oh five, oh three, oh five, oh three, oh five. I think it's like some circular disc dome. I'm gonna make some tea after your video. Finish up that horrific Chinese drama series I told you about. Nice man. Yeah, for some reason in Japan they really. Japanese women like to watch these Korean drama series things. Some are war, histor historical dramas. Uh, most are like detective or hospital ones. And it's just, I don't know, Korean TV seems a bit weird because they're just always crying in the, in, the, in the series. It's very odd. Very odd. <sighs> so I don't really... Don't really understand Korean dramas. Yeah, I'll be on later, Hank. Just gotta do some errands soon. I think that part fits in. No, this part fits in, yeah, so that section there, the top bit just slots in. Oh no, sorry. Hmm? What? R5 fits in. Oh, what? That doesn't look like it'll fit in. Wait a minute. What's going on here? I don't understand that. Ah, is there, no, is there another fucking. 
Huh? L6, yeah. That looks... Oh, I put it in the wrong direction. Duh! Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Just fits in there. Right, last piece, guys, and I'm going to get off. L3. L3. It's a small little circular thing. L3. It's a small, like, little disc thing. With some pieces, it's sometimes better to glue them in and sand. So you don't lose your parts to the vortex carpet of doom. As this is a circular shape, I'm going to get me tweezers tweezers and watch this ping off of course i would glue that in of course but uh, i'm just showing you guys yeah just thinking of mods and stuff like that i could do right guys i'm gonna head out i've got to do some work and i think the video has gone on for far enough for you guys to uh, watch back and uh i'm gonna love you and leave you hank dave all the guys that have been watching happy thanksgiving to my american friends and uh i really hope that you all have a great day and uh it's friday so enjoy the weekend guys tmd out peace